I bought this Axial Rift a few months ago and I did a video on it at that time. I've driven it a ton since then. I've broken some things and upgraded some things, so I thought it was time for an updated video. Ovonic also sent me these new batteries to test out, so I'll let you know what I think of those. The first thing to go was the stock servo. It stripped the gears, it just didn't last that long, so I had this 5955 laying around that I put in. I also bought this suspension servo saver link here. It was pretty expensive, but I'm hoping that it takes the impact off of the servo itself. Next, I changed the rest of the electronics. The stock sensor that set up just didn't have the slow speed control for me, so I went to a Mamba X speed control along with a Hobbywing 3200 kV motor, and it works, it's fast, it has slow speed control, but it does heat up if you do a lot of crawling, so I may go to a different motor in the future. As you can see here, the stock trailing arms were about to break. They didn't completely snap in half, in case too many splatters, I guess. So I did upgrade to aluminum ones, but I went with plastic rod ends because I figured that would be a good breaking point rather than put the force into the chassis plate or the axle. They would just snap there, and I have gone through quite a few of those, but it's relatively a quick, easy, and cheap fix. Right now I'm running tires and wheels off of a rock ray because some of the hexes stripped out on the stock setup. These are not as good as the stock tires. They don't hook up as well in the dirt. They're fine on the rocks, and they do give you a little bit more slide, so it tends to roll less. But overall, I like the stock tires better, so I'm going to go back to those once I get them unglued and onto some new wheels. It came with the center differential locked out, but I had some issues with the front and rear diff gears, so I went to full lockers, and now it crawls a whole lot better. I think that's pretty much it. Overall, I like this vehicle a lot. It's a lot of fun to drive. I've had a blast driving it because it's so similar to a Drowls bike and how it rides. You can slam into the bottom of something and bounce on up to the top, so it suits my driving style well. And I've had a lot of fun driving it on Trials-like sections. So much fun, in fact, that I bought another one so Hannah could join me. One of the biggest complaints I have with the rig is the runtime. I just wasn't getting that great of runtime out of this setup here. It's pretty power hungry, and these 5200 milliamp Ovonics were not doing the trick for me. I just wanted to keep driving longer, so I reached out to see if they had something with more capacity, and they sent me these 6500 ADC 3 cells. I was a little bit worried about these being soft packs, but the battery box in the Rift is pretty well protected, so I don't think I should have any issues there. And a soft pack, you can keep a better eye on if they're starting to puff. Then with the hard case, I don't feel any in these, so that's a good sign, but I'll really be able to tell if these puff at all. They also have a bit of a different build to them in where the balance lead and the power wires come out. For the Rift, it doesn't matter, but some of my rigs, this got to be problematic having the balance plug in the middle, so this one actually fits them better. These both provide great power and punch. I really couldn't tell the difference between the two. They are plenty for this rig, but one thing that really caught me by surprise is that the 6500s actually consistently did not last as long as the 5200s, which I couldn't believe. I kept doing back-to-back -back tests and it just kept happening where the 5200 would outlast the 6500. When I ran the 65 as low as I would ever want to, it only put 5,000 milliamps back in when I charged it back up to full. So that was very surprising, a little bit disappointing, and I'm hoping that they will continue to come around and I'll get more capacity out of these the more cycles I do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a closer look at my Rifts since I have two of them now but I think it's going to be worth it. I know we're going to drive them a ton this year and we'll probably bring them to just about every event that we drive to. So you guys will have to let me know if you have any questions on them or certain things you want to see.